here's another tutorial, this time we'll be utilizing the variant button, how to use first then explanation last. You load into the game, you look for your preferable car, and may notice pictures like these, they look like they exist in the game, but are yet to be seen by you anywhere in the cars list. For example, this would be the 90s version of the Ford F-150, but is the 2015 version of it. So to access it, go to the main page. Then at the bottom of the page you will notice a purple button that says Variant, which is what it's for. Click on it once as it makes a sound. You just activated it. Click again to deactivate it. Now you have access to the two trucks. See, it does in fact exist in the game, it's just in a different part of a different UI element. You can freely spawn it in any time you like to. This goes for all other cars that have these variants. But how do you tell which ones though? Click onto any car section. At the bottom you either have or haven't noticed the purple and green boxes next to the four boxes of car info. Whatever car you click on, it tells you if it does, or no if it doesn't. That's all you need to know. And with the recent version 6.09, click the new vehicle section, and if you see this purple V on any of the cars, this tells you that it's a variant version of that particular car. So this is why. It's mainly to reduce the amount of taken up space, plus it keeps things organized and straightforward. So here's two different versions, I'll show so you understand what it would look like without the variant page. Normal. Without variants. Even if you ask for this to be in the game, sadly it ain't happening. And that concludes the tutorial.